Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, check this out. These are praying mantis egg cases, and we have a black widow spider egg sac. So let's put them together in this container. And at least that was my original plan. All right, so that's a modified lid. It's not going to work putting them in that plastic container. So I'm going to try to put them into one of the coffee bean jars. See, I had to modify a lid to work on that. I've got a problem with Black Widow spider egg sacs hatching. I don't know what to do with them. I have so many, they keep hatching. I keep destroying them. Uh, yeah, they, and, and they're spider monsters. And then once they hatch, you can't open them up to separate any out. I mean, I guess you could, but you're taking your life in your hands. I mean, look at all these little monsters. Even airtight containers, they're just in there living, eating each other, you know, Lord of the Flies thing. So I'm going to start with one of these glass coffee bean containers. We're going to put some stuff in there and figure out how it fits in there the best, obviously. And then I'm going to load it up with spider egg sacs. And then I'm going to seal it, which is why I made that fancy lid, special lid. So we're going to start with the original one we had with these two... Praying Mantis egg cases that I bought online, it usually takes, I don't know, what do they say, up to four weeks, four to six weeks for Praying Mantis egg cases to hatch after they reach 70 degrees. Kind of like a seed to germinate. We're going to get all this in this new container. We'll get this egg sack, come on. Ugh. Put this whole thing in there. So... If we load this up and we seal it, then everybody hatches and they can eat each other and, you know, uh, I don't want to say, you know, things like Battle Royale or Lord of the Flies or uh, something along those lines, but this will allow a hatching in a container that we can view and, you know, they get to live instead of being, you know, turned into Protocol Zero. Now, if and when... The praying mantises, the mantids, the nymphs, eat all the baby spider monsters, spiderlings. Then we can maybe set them free. These are brown widow egg sacs. Remember, first we had one, then we had two. Horrible. It's a southern black widow egg sac. Yeah, they're just laying egg sacs like it's, you know, nobody's business. And that's a false widow egg sac. We have shown these in another video. Very distinctive egg sack of false widow has because it's a cotton ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these into the container and we'll see who hatches and when and what. Now there's something, it's really weird. This brown widow uh, web is very tough. You see how it's just strewn over there like gauze? It is very tough. I can't say for sure it's tougher than black widow web. Or it might just be this individual circumstance, but this is weird. This web is extremely strong. I'm having a hard time. I, you know, I had to, oh, there we go, got one. I had to get down through the web to get to the egg sacs. Very distinctive brown widow egg sacs. They look like spheres with spikes all over them. Get the other one out of there. Wow. That, that was, that was hard. That was some rough web to get through. I, I was, wow. All right, so we'll get these in the new container, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's it begins, right? So let's get the Southern Black Widow egg sac in there. Now, Southern Black Widow, you know, it's a Black Widow. So we're just going to call her a Black Widow. So it's a Black Widow egg sac. Going to get that in there, too, in addition to the... Well, come on, let go. She is fighting me for this one. Let go. Stop it. Stop fighting me. I'm take, I am taking this. Whoa, whoa. Kind of like a chicken that... Whoa, stop it. It's like a chicken who doesn't want you to take the, take her eggs. I'm take... I am... I am... Stop it. She's fighting me. Very aggressive. I pissed her off. All right, come on. Let... Get back. Get back. All right, grab this thing. So remember, we already had a Western Black Widow egg sac in there. This is Southern Black Widow, and we have the two Brown Widow egg sacs in there. And the Praying Mantis egg cases. So I'm just going to try to put them in... Oh, now it's stuck to the tweezers. It's just kind of mashing this thing. Oh, come on. Uh, all right. Like, just, sometimes you just got to use your finger and just scrape it right off the tweezers. Yeah. 
and that's not really working that well. So I'm going to get this in there. And notice I'm not going to place it right next to another egg sac. I'm just kind of spreading them out in this container. Ooh, almost. Spread <sighs> spreading them out in this container, trying to. Yeah. I don't even know if I am beating the, the heck out of this egg sac. Okay, there we go. So we got it in there. Now we're going to have to move on to the next. She is mad. Now what is... Check this out. Very agitated. Doing spider push-ups. I don't even know what this means. Can't be good. She she is clearly not happy because I stole her egg sac and they're very possessive of the egg sacs. But it's not like I'm going to let that egg sac in there hatch and live. So... Wow, that... <laughs> It has one weird spider, but... All right, one, two, three, spider push-ups. But yeah, she is agitated. Very bizarre. I mean, I gotta move on to the next egg sack, but I kind of want to watch what weird stuff she is doing there. Yeah. All right, so this is the false Black Widow's egg sack. We're gonna get that in there, too. Problem is with moving false black widow egg sacs, they're so cotton. Go, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't be fighting me. Get down there. The problem with moving them, they're so cotton bally. They they don't really hold together as well as a standard black widow. Get it off in there. They're all being difficult today between the spiders and the egg sacs. Can't get them off the tweezers. Yeah, take a look at her. Yeah. With this close-up here, this false Black Widow looks just like a Black Widow. That's why I said you can't go by their colorations. you got to consider that they could be a real Black Widow and, you know, act accordingly. Wow. Very Black Widow-esque. All right, so here's what we got. Two Brown Widow egg uh, sacks. Spring Mantis. Uh, I believe that's Southern Black Widow. Spring Mantis. Black Widow egg sack down on the bottom, Western Black Widow. And, you know, kind of up in there we got the uh, False Black Widow. We're going to have to close this all up, and you know how it is. When these spider babies start hatching, there is nothing we can do. We cannot open this. It is a sealed environment. With all this stuff we have in there, they have plenty of little places to grab onto and hang onto and hide in so i cut down this lid this is from one of those josh josh's frogs containers those plastic containers which were too opaque to actually film through i'm going to use some electrical tape and i am going to man this is not working like i thought try to tape <laughs> man this i am having just some problems here maybe too long a piece of oh come on keep sliding over because now there's no lip to hold it now it's sliding over and it's hard to get it centered yeah you know it looked good on paper it was good theory all right you can see i turned the camera off and i had to you know resituate myself we have the camera going again and i taped it down and got it anchored and it's centered better now hopefully this will actually work Smaller pieces of tape, because you know you get the arc of the of the tough thing. So smaller pieces of tape will help anchor this on properly, and then I'll just keep taping. The lid itself is a plastic lid with big holes in it, and then it's a coffee filter type material that's on it, so it stops tiny little bugs and things from escaping. Get this tape on here. So hopefully this will give us a safe sealed environment. My concern is up on the top of the lid. You can see there's little bumps where the electrical tape is up. And I'm going to make sure they can't get out, escape from the bottom part. But I have to make sure they cannot escape from the top. I'm going to tape the heck out of this thing. I'm not going to be afraid to use too much tape because I don't know if we're ever going to open this again. We might open it again. Like I said, well, we might. We will if the praying mantises eat all the black widows then yeah, we can open again. But this won't be airtight, so they'll, you know, they'll be able to breathe. And they will have plenty of food in there, called each other. And actually, this is a pretty 
pretty good idea if I uh, don't say so myself. Let me kind of get this tape on here. Have to make sure there's no gaps because those teeny tiny little spider monsters, spider babies, spiderlings, man, they can they can escape from things that you think are inescapable. So yeah, that is an issue you have to be careful if there are spider babies. Remember the average Black Widow spider egg sac can hold 100 to 150 little spider babies? And yeah, we just keep putting tape on this thing until we are 100% sure that there's no little tiny little gaps for them to get out. Yeah, if I get that all sealed good, hopefully it won't separate either. If I get that all sealed good, then we can just kind of set this aside and let nature take its course. And then there's always going to be people who say, well, that's not nature then. Well, you know what? This is the food chain. This is nature. Yeah, see. All right, we are sealed up. And uh, if we stare at it long enough, maybe something will happen. Well, you know, it doesn't actually work that way. So, yeah, here is the finished product. We are sealed on the top. A breathable lid. Uh, humidity shouldn't be a problem. Air transfer shouldn't be a problem. We just have to wait for these to hatch. And I think the oldest egg sac is the Western Black Widow one in there, so that should hatch first. And really, I have no idea when these mantises are going to hatch. Like I said, I think it's four to six weeks of warm weather, but I've hatched these in the past, and it was just nothing, nothing, nothing. Suddenly there was mantids! And usually they escaped. They will not escape this time. So even if I don't do this for spider babies in the future, this is a good mantis setup. Only I won't have to tape it as tightly because if a mantis escapes, who cares, right? All right, what do you think? You think this is going to work out or you think it's going to fail? Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.